Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lehman. Quarter six now on this Thursday morning and we're talking about fog once again up to the north. Not so much down to the south. Not so much, but cutting through the heart of our area. We do have that patchy fog from about the lakeshore over to Clintonville, Wapaka and maybe over to Stevens Point. Let's check in in Sturgeon Bay right now where they're reporting less than a mile of visibility. You see it here as we look the, at the old bridge. It is 37 degrees this morning and our radar spinning around did pick up some uh, patchy drizzle uh, there within the last hour. Hour. Up to the north, some 30s, but there's a 50 degree reading left over in Sheboygan. A lot of 40s from Green Bay and points south along I-41 and 43. Here's your day planner for today. Patchy fog, maybe some drizzle, but otherwise kind of just a gloomy day with a lack of sunshine. Cloudy skies take us into the afternoon and then wrapping up the day with maybe a spotty light rain shower or sprinkle with highs entering the upper 40s to near 50. In terms of how much more rain we're going to see compared to yesterday, really not a whole lot, maybe a few hundredths of an inch as a few sprinkles pass us by. But with that rain from yesterday, which pushed over an inch in some locations, Green Bay, we had about a half an inch, same thing with Appleton. Uh, but off to the north, we have this flood warning near McAllister. That's the Menominee River. The Oconto River, also for the city of Oconto, uh, that one's flood warned once again. The Embarrass River, affecting uh, about three counties there, and then the Fox River near Shiocton. Well, when you push forward or southward with the Fox River, you also get the flood warning near Berlin, which is pretty common for the spring season. But there's a lot of warnings across the state of Wisconsin, of course, with that rain yesterday and some additional snow melt that we've been seeing with these mild temperatures. Right now, no widespread rain beside, of course, plenty of cloud cover and that patchy drizzle and fog that I had mentioned. And we're going to keep this kind of gloomy weather around as long as this area of low pressure is near us. We can force that out of there for tomorrow and bring in a better day for Friday. Let's break it down here on Futurecast as we um, roll through the cloudy day. There may be some isolated sprinkles with this little batch of rain uh, near the lakeshore through the midday hours. Otherwise, later in the day, 5, 6 o'clock uh, from the north, there may be some spotty sprinkles or light rain showers moving downward. Here's 10 o'clock tonight as most of us are heading to bed. Cloudy skies, but we start to clear out going into Friday, and that will be the general trend as we see some sunshine returning for tomorrow and some milder temperatures. So for today, cloudy with a spotty light rain shower or sprinkle highs will be limited to the 40s with north winds from 10 to 20. Now for tonight, mostly cloudy, a stray shower in the evening and temperatures in the 30s. Here's your seven day forecast for tomorrow. Sunny and 57 Saturday, a beautiful day, 63 in the afternoon on Sunday, mainly dry, but a spotty shower chance later on in 63 on Monday. That's I think the best chance for some scattered light rain showers down to 56.